What is up, everyone? Welcome to Cheer 69, Episode 4. I have commanded our special guest, Kovi, as well as my partner in crime, my cohort in cheering of 69 bits, Weenus, to shut the fuck up. This is my show tonight. Welcome. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, what's up? What a do? I was, I was seriously sitting here on mute just waiting for permission to start talking. I yeah. Know. Yeah. <laughs> a little yeah. bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> we can we can work on it. that we can work on uh, how about, that okay i'm gonna try one more time one more time <laughs> that sounded like a dying goose like Bark! you said like a tire squealing <laughs> all right yep. a dying you gotta get more guttural with it like a little bit you, you gotta you gotta a little take bit? it from the, lo the lower tit let's hear that's, it that's where the depth comes from with let's her i don't it. have boobs i can't do it let's let's hear your your lower ball then <laughs> Your mic is so like loud. A... Um, okay, so... Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry. Sound like a burp. Just I so it. everyone's aware, <laughs> it's my first time streaming this, and Weenus didn't help me, so I didn't. Need, I don't need no man. And uh, it's a little bit hoopty. Um, right. I apologize in advance if the production quality is not what you're used to. But with that being said, why don't we get into our very first segment? How you doing? <clears throat> All right. So, how you doing? How you doing? All right. So, who wants to go first? This is a check-in, a weekly check-in to see how everybody's week was, what they're doing. And uh, I think the lady should go first. Uh, Slexi has to go last because she's had oh. a better week than all of us. How about the prettier lady? Okay, I'll go. Good. <laughs> Good, good. Okay, so let's see. So my week has been all right for the most part. Uh, it started off Monday morning at 1.30 a.m. when I got called into work by the alarm company saying that the alarm was going off and that they needed someone to come in. So I went down there and checked it out and finished all that up about 3 a.m. And then I was like, well, I'm already here. So I worked my Monday morning from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. and my week and my week has been kind of weird sleep schedule for the whole week like going to bed at like 6 p.m and waking up at 2 it's just been weird that's great uh very yeah it's it's very like i'm just when i'm driving home from work i'm just yelling screaming in my car so I don't fall asleep. oh my god i woke up this morning randomly at 4 30 and saw your light green on discord i guess i checked discord in my sleep and i was like what the fuck why is weena still like usually this only happens Sunday mornings after he's had an all nighter. And uh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember the story and I hope that gets fixed. Yeah, so it's been it's been a weird week as far as that goes. Uh, hopefully I can remedy that over the weekend. We'll see. We'll see if I can get that to work. Um, what else? Uh, my I, my Zuljin Arams uh, shake my head have been amazing. <laughs> uh, I think I fed 17 times in a row playing with uh, Slexia and, and uh, Not Paradox. I'm going to keep bringing it up as I shame myself. It was the best. <laughs> it was the best thing ever. We were playing, and I, I was playing Anduin, right? Or like a healer or something. And uh, Weenus's health just drops dramatically. And I'm like, Weenus! And he's like, oh, that button takes away 50% of my health. And then he just had his D <laughs> enabled the from. whole game. <laughs> and died 17 times but he dies 17 times on any hero which is it's okay true. because he's fucking hilarious and i uh, play zul Jin like i live my life uh constantly with my d ready to go just that push down and tuck push it down. like a fruit bowl <laughs> little tuck buffalo like, bill tuck like a goat like a goat the goat <laughs> 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 actually you want to see it it's it's much better from the side. Look Can at, you look show me your fruit bowl? Oh my bad, I thought you were showing. My bad. All right, here we go. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! The tongue and everything that was just that was too much. <laughs> Luch, there help you go. me! Help me! Oh Luch. my god! <laughs> WTF? Am I watching? What the fuck? <laughs> I would have rather seen your fruit bowl. 
to be honest. Well, you, you, yeah, you can, you can. It's it's going to be, there's going to be little uh, framed pictures at, in the <laughs> WenusCon swag bags of my fruit bowl. So Nice, nice. Can't wait. You know, wait it's, it. it takes up a big section on, on the food pyramid, so. <laughs> that should take, should take up a decent amount of space on your nightstand. Speaking oh, of which, who, who else is going to be going me. to this Weenus Con? You never know. There's always a few last minute show show ups, but uh, we are going to have a couple people from Clouded Minds. Um, there's going to mm-hmm. be a few people from Vegas itself. I think we'll probably have around maybe six or seven. Not a ton of people. This is but, perfect. But it's it's also you know open to anybody. So if anybody wants to come, check it out. I'm just you looking forward to meeting. There. Well, that's all. I'll be here because I live here. Um, that's right. And I think we should live stream <clears throat> Cheer 69. And it's just going to be I'm us. totally down. I think we should do like a, a scavenger hunt in, on Fremont Street where we have to take the, the stream and do something random to a person. I thought about it, but then I was like, there's a lot of nudity. I'm trying not to Fremont get shanked. Street, And the nudity yeah. and streaming on Twitch is a bad combo for getting banned. <laughs> I mean, what is nudity? Yeah, you're right. TOS. That's TOS. My bad. That's TOS. <laughs> But I like it. I like it. We can, we can always just like first, like before streaming, just do a quick walkthrough and just know the places to avoid. But anyways. No, I, I already know the places to avoid and that's anywhere fun. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. Everything well, I gonna do have is fun, TOS. So. Yikes. Adding me so hard feels so bad. Rip. Uh, so continue Jeez, with your week. Maybe. I'm sorry. We're just going off topic here. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, let me let me finish up because this is kind of boring, but it was really funny the, how much I fed on Zuljet. It was great. Uh, we had NGS playoff match yesterday. Uh, we played a really good team. Randy Newman, who it, who came out with like maybe six or seven logos this season for their team. They're all very very funny, involving Randy Newman. Uh, they're a good a good team. We ended up being able to squeak by, and we get to move on in the playoffs. Um, we will be playing next week for the Coastal Finals, which has never happened for us, so that'll be fun. Um, and then my failure for the week is on Wednesday, my washing machine broke. So it wouldn't... <laughs> that wouldn't be hilarious for some reason. <laughs> <sighs> and of course, it's when it has like a full load in it, just like me on my birthday. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so like, <laughs> like, I was like, what do we do? And so like... <laughs> Part of the, so it broke was to where it wasn't agitating and it wasn't uh, spinning. So like everything is just like sopping wet. It's basically like if you're just to pull it out of a pool, like that's how wet this laundry is. And I was like, hmm, well, apparently the washing machine is broken. What, are, what to do with all these wet clothes? I know. And then I had the brilliant idea of, well, why don't we just throw them in the dryer anyways? It'll be fine. It was not fine. And then, in fact, the dryer shut down for, like, six hours, and I thought I had broken <laughs> that afterwards. <laughs> and then I had the idea, okay, yeah. maybe just you just rinse. I'm going to make this hand, mo- hand, hand motion. You just rinse everything as much as you can before putting in the dryer because otherwise it's too heavy. Good so heaven. today I did some research uh, a couple days ago, ordered a part on Amazon. It arrived today, and I was like, I'm going to fix this washer because I'm a man, and I know what I'm doing, and I'm good with my hands. <laughs> so I, I replaced the part. <laughs> set it back down it turned test. it on with a smile on my face and now there's this new noise which is just like <laughs> and I'm like mm, that's not good <laughs> and instead of immediately turning it off like any normal human being would I just sat there for a minute and was like and listened to it <laughs> and I tried to match it so it was like, mm, and I'm like mm. it's like mm. I'm like Mm, I'm like, we're singing together. And then it started smoking. And I was like, oh, okay, the song is over. And uh, wow. yeah. So I don't think I did the right thing when I was working on it. So, uh, and then I breathed all, it all in. I opened, like, opened up the lid, and somehow all the smoke had been going into the inside <laughs> of the washer, like the drum. So I opened it up, and it's like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I went to go take a shower, and I like almost fell over in the shower because I was like, "Oh, too much smoke inhalation!" So I almost burned the house down, and I sang with a washing machine. That's my week. <laughs> I love it. Wow. I'm like, we're ten minutes in, and my face is. <laughs> <laughs> I stay like this. Just kidding. You added me. For laughing under. Laughing underwater says, "At least you didn't try to use a blowtorch to dry them." That sounds like something I might try and do. So yeah. yeah. By the way, thanks yeah. for the biddies there, Piggy Lover. 
Yeah, and I can't. Okay, so the alert is it alert box is showing, and I set it up, but they're not popping up on screen. Yeah. It's killing me. Why not? I even have uh, Mark, guess. you of all people can't be saying that your facial hair is pristinely. Come on. Oh, that's true. That's true. Although I do Mark's facial hair looks like a god. Although or I the do. Devil. Uh, yeah, you you have very nice facial hair, Kobe, and I kind of kind of makes me want to shave everything except for like right here. And I don't. Want, okay, so and like, then, I and can't then hold on. anything right here. It, and then if I shave oh, yeah. everything except for this, then if we made out, yes, we'd like exactly. make a beard together. We would be a full beard. Oh my god. That's Sorry. happening, so, right? That's gonna. My happen. my dad at when I was as growing up when I started getting my facial hair and whatnot, told me flat out. And I'm I'm a hetero big guy, you know. He said the reason you don't do, you don't get any hair there is because the balls keep on slapping in that spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just is like, really what? cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm not is repeating because that. What? I can't believe I I can't believe I said that. <laughs> That's beautiful. No, I love it. I love it. But yeah, I for some reason I just can't get hair there. And the only spot that I do have hair is where I bit through my lip when I was like seven. So I think it looks I look I think it looks very nice and inten intentional. <laughs> Oh, cool. We'll roll with that then. All righty. <laughs> Nightbot is very I'm little, active. You love I'm to see it. aggressive, actually. I can't even talk. Shelly, what happens so, if I do this? So tell us oh. about. Uh, oh, I did try to at least do something. I mean, we're talking how it was last week with the food or whatever week <laughs> that was. I mean, I I was like, oh, fuck! I gotta get this done. Oh my god! I forgot to add something about Weenus to Nightbot, and that's all that's in there. So. My links don't even work in my own. You love to see it. Oh, it's because I don't have that modded. My bad. I hate to see it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, my, my week was uh, was interesting uh, to me, and I'm sure it was not interesting to anybody else. But uh, Kobe, what it. have you been up? What have you been up to this week? Uh, well, I have been working from home this entire week because my grandmother decides to win a bunch of casino, and I have to be here, uh, letting everybody measure floors and stuff. So that's been pretty fun. Um, yeah. And then I'm here. So this is like the highlight of the week. Are you so you do you live with your grandmother? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, moved back from California about a year ago and I am staying with her now. Where in California did you used to be? I was in a very ghetto area. I was in San Fernando Valley. Oh, OK. Anybody that lives there. All right. So Southern Sorry. Southern California down the L.A. area. Yeah. Yeah. Very not cool. LA proper, but in LA County. So. Okay, I was like, hmm, maybe he lived like right down the street from me, but I'm in Northern California, so yeah, I'm not that. Anyways, cool. it's, it's, I'll be in Tahoe so in a week. To though. flaunt his his NorCal San Francisco Bay Area locale, you know what I mean? Yeah, NorCal. Well, so I'm seriously. There's nothing wrong with it. I just like the beers up here. I like the beers <laughs> down there too. I'm not Northern California esque over any other part of California, but I am Californiaist. I do like California quite a bit. Me too. I'm from California. I miss it every day. I forgot what birds sound like. I don't know what grass feels like under my feet anymore. I just live in a hot, miserable hellhole. And that's why I'm so bitter. So I'm going to risk getting... I'm going to risk getting kicked off the show by saying I'm happy I moved away from California. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You know, everyone is free to have their own opinions, and if you don't like it, that's totally I, cool. It's just man, everyone, everyone lives their own truth. Traffic. <laughs> Whatever. Holy <Kelly> crap. <laughs> like, so I, I used to be able to easily say, I'm traveling 30 miles and it's going to take me 30 minutes to get there in Phoenix. And this is like on, uh, you know, standard traffic day. I'm going fucking two miles and I'm getting there in 45 minutes in LA. It was atrocious. Oh, and yeah. Rush hours 24 7. But so I, I can say I experienced the most fun thing in the world there. And that was a fire truck that was on fire on the 405. Wow. Yeah. And is that why your safe word is fire hose? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that Let's is. Let's talk about one. that as we segue into your week. We did, and we are doing something new. Instead of at the end of the show when we ask you to type in moist for a giveaway, we're going to ask you to type in our guest's uh, safe word. And Kobe does have a safe word, which happens to be fire hose. Yep. So. And, and just so you know where the reference comes from, just listen to this. Fire hose. <laughs> yes. <kidding. laughs> listen and listen well. Yeah. Um, so I think with... he just farted and said fire hose. 
<laughs> no, what? I totally I backhanded my desk. Come on. Yikes. All right. So did you talk about your week? Because I kind of just like stopped listening a while ago. No, I, I, I interrupted, Kobe. Please finish about your week. And I literally, I mean, up. your week was okay to take up 15 minutes. Um, and plus, I really don't want to follow up how piss poor your week was with mine. Like, it was you, so you, good. Dude, you get a three ding gold star for that. <laughs> for, for, for what? For, for, my for surviving your week. Everything. Oh, for surviving myself. Yeah, I, I'm yes. actively trying to murder myself. All right, very good. Well, if you think of anything that you wanted to talk about that happened during your week, you can always bring it up as okay. we go. Absolutely. Is it? Is it time, Slexia? I have, uh, for me to talk about my week? Yeah. Me, they came from Yeah. <laughs> well, let's start off by saying immediately following the show, uh, last week I went out and smashed my thumb in the car door, which uh, caused me to have to get two holes drilled in the fingernails uh, Saturday morning at urgent Ooh. care so they could release the blood from it. It now looks like a little tiny vampire bit me and it hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> that is all that happened in my week. But, you know, when we were talking to Kovey about, you know, what we should do for the show or just get him hyped up, we kind of segued onto him being a very eligible bachelor. And I took the liberty of doing something for him. Oh, good Lord. That I feel <laughs> like. I'm so, I'm already embarrassed that I'm I, I took the liberty of making sure that when he did come out here for Weenus Con, he had his own uh, fire hose, if you know what I mean. So uh, I'm going to share a couple things quickly. Oh, Jesus Christ. So Are you I muted? Oh, okay. took the liberty of creating a grinder profile for COVID. Oh my god, I hate you! He is actively <laughs> seeking romance and you Oh know, my two people have viewed me in the last two hours? No, that's just that yeah, just or less let me say oh something. My god. Being a female going on grinder <laughs> on your behalf was a delight. One oh, thing I figured out immediately you, uh, was that people can see how far away you are, and it measures even in feet. The first person that messaged you was 226 <laughs> feet from me. <laughs> and I was fucking terrified. <coughs> so that's your profile, oh, that's and you just got, you got so many people interested. Oh, your profile thanks. was blowing up. Bro, Blowing like, up, I shared these things, dick pics included, with Weenus throughout uh, the journey. And I have a couple things to share here. Not um, from the oh profile, man. but from Slexia's <laughs> own collection of her own My own picks. dick pics were shared yeah. to your grinder. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> no. So, yeah, uh, I, I, when you come out here for Weenus Con, there are at least 18 <laughs> men interested in hooking up with you. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, we just said not coming. <laughs> and, this, and this is using the chicken picture. They ate That's it up. It. They loved it. They said, hey, baby, want to cluck? Oh, man. Yeah, let's go to another image. So here's another one. I went ahead and sent every single person that <laughs> gif, no matter what. Uh, some were intrigued. Others, you know, only more eager to get into them <sighs> than pants, if you know what I mean. But if we take a look at this particular interaction, uh, the person said, I seem to have lost, I seem to have lost my underwear. Can I see yours? And I'm like, what do I get in return? And he's like, are you on kick? And I was like, whoa, whoa, I am not. Um, and his name was Firehose. So the, that is your safe word. And I thought it was perfect. Look at oh. you. That is why that is your safe word, and we are insistent upon it. It just fell into place so easily instead of having pomegranate. Who the fuck so has wait pomegranate? A Hold on. We're so not done. Fire hose was created from this. Yeah, and we talked about this like a week ago, and yeah. you're like, oh, what? my God. But you even <laughs> baited yourself into saying that would be your safe word, and here we are, full circle. I feel like I'm at the end of a horror movie when it's like, 
You see, well, I was the killer all along. <laughs> Moving on. We've invited you here to stab you in the dick. So Welcome. You can't really tell who that is, uh, but that's just another example of someone. I, I like your picture. How are you? Whoa! <laughs> Everyone received a whoa! But let me tell you, Kobe, you will not have a single lonely night out here for Weenus Con because there oh are God. several dicks waiting for you on Grinder. Mark Zombie sums it up. Nice cock, let's cluck. Exactly. <laughs> very, very good. Basically, Kobe, you are uh, a very handsome individual and uh, men, women, everyone. Everyone wants to get at that Kobe. <laughs> That's what you should take away from this. Yeah. Not that we put you up it, no, assumed your identity it's and put flattering. you on a, 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 a dating app for a gay males. <laughs> well, he's never identified as one or the other, so we made sure, um, you know, I made sure to go where people would like to see a man in a cock outfit. I almost posted just the crotch <laughs> shot of you with that hardware, you know what I mean, from your chiropractic yeah, please appointment. Yeah, please don't. I don't want, To no. be like, hey, you want to tie me up? But uh, I didn't really have to put any effort into it. I will say that I my phone was now. making grinder notifications all to be, nonstop, basically. To be fair, Slexi was like, let's sign him up for Tinder. And I was like, hold up. Let's put him on grinder. So I'll, then I, I'll no, take, then I'll I said, the Weenus, you that. do it. And he's and Weenus said, I can't. I'm banned from grinder. I'm I'm I not allowed to use. I'm grinder not allowed anymore. to use grinder anymore. Is what he said. <laughs> so there I there I went into the app store, immediately into Discord, and got that picture of you. Anyway, that was my week. And moving on, we have our next segment: questionable questions. You're a very good All sport, right. Kobe. Oh, man. All right. Let's get into these questionable questions. Before we do this real quick, I had every... My grandmother invited me to go to the with her tonight. And I'm like, I can't. I'm guest hosting on a late night talk. And she was super stoked for me. But now I have absolutely zero want to show this episode to you <laughs> at all because of that right there. <laughs> Big shout out to Kobe's grandma. <laughs> shout out, grandma. I want to see Val's mom last and Kobe's week's grandmother episode. go fist to cuffs and uh, see who wins. Uh, dude, my grandma's a scrapper. Just saying. Although I regret using that hand motion of like punches because it kind of looks like this, and that's not what it. It looks like you're milking do. a cow. Yeah. Um, laughing underwater says, "Wait, wait, wait, Weenus. Does that mean lesbians are banned from that app?" Asking for a lawyer friend. Are you asking that because I said gay males, or because I'm banned and you think I'm a lesbian? <laughs> oh. could be uh actually i'm not sure i, I don't think lesbians use grinder but i don't know it could be I, I would think they would have their i don't own. think i've ever heard of lesbians using grinder before it's always been kind of i think it's a man on, man on man which yeah. makes sense because like if you're a man on man kind of guy or a girl on girl kind of gal like oh luch what oh, up luch. Big luch with the subs Ten oh my goodness thank you so much subs. luch don't whoop, whoop. I am so oh grateful. Thank you so much. Holy shit, bitch. Holy shit, bitch. <laughs> there you bitch. Go. I'm not calling bitch. you a bitch. I just like to say shit, bitch. I think it's a hilarious insult. If you're ever like, you know what? I don't think you're very nice, you shit, bitch. Like, that is... Whoa! <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much for wow. those gift Thank subs to so Mark much. Zombie. Beautiful holiday. Artha now. This is Kobe. Piggy Lover 2689. Ghost Dunk. Kelidorn. Arrow of the Storm. Not Galadrius. Yes. And Totes Cokes. I love that name. Totes Cokes. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. We appreciate your support. It is our pleasure to sit here and <clears throat> talk about just God knows what. So we're into questionable <laughs> questions. The community, wow, the dings are dinging off. I love it. Uh, the community was Ding pretty on. active. I'm going to start. Um, Zombear, also known as Psycho Bear, asked, why is it whenever I follow the IKEA instruction, my pet monkey always ends up in the ceiling fan? Do you understand how much shit I need to clean up? 
<laughs> I'm gonna field this one. I don't know. And no, I don't. Moving on. <laughs> All right, I'll ask this one to both. Moving of you. on. <laughs> uh, this is also from Zombear. How is a regular cheese sandwich considered ghetto, but a grilled cheese sandwich considered superior? I will start with Kovi. Um, I blame hipsters. I'm gonna interject <laughs> and object to that with my okay. own answer. So I've talked about this before, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, this is what. Oh, Kovi, thank you for the 69 bits again and again. You hear the sound, but you don't see the vision or the visual. I don't hear the sound. I see the visual, though. Yeah, the sound. I got the sound to work. The visual's there. There it is. It's popping up very quickly. I saw it. <laughs> it's just like, Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It's a ghost. Whoa. It's a ghost. So when I worked in the hip hop industry, um, one time they were talking, whoa, Nelly. This <laughs> is like, <laughs> okay, sorry. I just wanted to see it a couple more times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm drowning in a oh, wait, wave pool of muted. that gif. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> So okay. one of it's going. <laughs> I gotta turn on the sound for this. It's going. One of the artists was talking, and he was like, he said something gum and cheese, and I was like, gum and cheese? Ugh! What's gum and cheese? You know, because I'm like clearly just the most. I'm just a, I'm just a white lady. You know what I mean? And he's <laughs> from East Palo Alto in the Bay. So that's a rough area. Um, I actually, Luch knows uh, the group I'm talking about because when I was streaming WoW recently, I was B-stepping in front of Stitches and WoW, listening to a song called Grown Man On by Dim Hood Stars. <laughs> Moving on. He was talking about gum and cheese, and I was like, what is gum? Kobe with the 690 bits as I'm telling the story. He's like, it's not gum and cheese. It's government, government cheese, like government cheese. Oh. So that answers the question. I think if it's just plain cold government cheese on a sandwich, it's a little hood. If it's a grilled cheese sandwich, unless you, you know, you use an iron to make it, it's less hood. I don't know. I've been there, done that before. I think maybe, maybe... Grilled cheese is bougie for the simple fact that you use butter. Oh, and you do? butter to some people can be expensive. You know? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. You can get some Velveeta and Wonder Bread, and it's cheap. It might also be about effort, too. Because, like, a cheese sandwich, you're just like, here's some cheese, here's some bread, all right, we're done. But a grilled cheese, <laughs> it takes takes a little effort, takes a little time, takes a little uh, handy handwork on that bread. <laughs> a little handiwork, huh? Yeah, a little handiwork. Hmm. <laughs> Government cheese ain't even iced. Quick question, right? because I've seen people use mayonnaise instead of butter. Can you use avocado to make a grilled cheese instead of mayonnaise? What? You mean it'd be, can you it'd use... be a grilled cheese avocado then? So you like technical. you yeah, no, I, use mayonnaise I, on the get bread. It. I mean, well, I guess that's like a, a third step. Like, because you're saying avocado instead of mayonnaise instead of avocado instead of butter, like the traditional arrangement. Yeah, I've never used mayonnaise in a grilled cheese. I use mayonnaise in cheese sandwiches. If by the whitest girl uh, you know you mean Mark Zombie, then yes, because he, I believe, is the advocate for avocado. The avocado advocate. He's so, the advocate. Yeah. Mayo shouldn't Ob be consumed. It's fat bread, says Mark Zombie. <laughs> Thought it's like eggs and fat. Whoa. Another 690 bitties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you see that freak out just for a second? Look at it just for a second. Oh, you I love it. it. For everything. I like that. Just, it's the just ghost. like. It's just like. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, so I that's the that's <clears throat> the answer for the, you know, the cold oh, cheese. My lights thing. just died. 
that's how I feel a lot of the time when we hang out. My my light just dies a little bit. But no, I see. Yeah, you're like. <laughs> You're like, yeah, now I just have this, the one solo. Now I'm in the dark. Mm. Now wow, I'm green. Da 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 dee da boo da. How so, about? Yeah. Now? Oops, I didn't mean to push uh, that. Maybe clap push and this. see what happens. Clap that ass real quick. I'm in the dark You're, for a very Kobe's spooky. light is making you Near purple. 69. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> There's like, so much purple on the screen that it's Venus like bouncing is turning off. turning violet. Like, oof. Is he all we... rainbow now? All right. Moving right, on to the next on. question. On average, what's everyone's budget for edible clothes? Can I take this first? Absolutely. My budget for edible clothes is the same as my food budget for the week. <laughs> done and No monetary, oh, no, no value put on that, no. No, it's a, it could be the whole food budget. If you can find enough edible yeah. edible underwear, whole food budget. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. All right. All right, Kobe. Um, uh, damn it. You had to go and say something I would have said. But realistically, I don't know. I mean, it's there is no limit. My, my, the quantity of money in my bank account, I guess. It depends on the wearer of said clothing. All realistically. Interesting. I'm well, not going to eat it by itself. If it's edible underwear and there's no one wearing the underwear, then it's just staying in its box. Unless so it's like the candy necklaces ones. If it's like, I've seen that before, and I will eat the shit out of that without someone wearing them because they're just delicious. The but best use I've seen of edible underwear has nothing to do about the bedroom, but about taking food to forbidden areas. Like if you're going to take it into the movie theater, like you don't have to hide stuff in your pockets. You can just be wearing the food and right. snacks that you're going to be consuming during the motion picture. Like lick the backside of a fruit roll up and wrap yourself like a zombie. Yeah, and then or like you a know, monkey also, also wearing edible underwear to a funeral. That's a, a good place because you're always going to be waiting for the snacks afterwards. And you um, won't get wet there and just ruin those panties, you know. Well, I don't know. Maybe you would. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of accusations, but I can't really say you're wrong. Speculation at this point, really. We'll have to find out. One of out. the Asians. All right. <clears throat> What what's what about you? Have you actually ever worn? Have either of you guys ever ever worn edible underwear or oh eaten God. them off of somebody? Have Hold you on. eaten them off of somebody? Keladorn coming in with the two hundred biddies Ooh. plus the twenty bonus, brought to you by Subway, not sponsored, but Twitches. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want to wear fruit roll ups on their sweaty privates? Uh, oh man, yeah. That's Just imagine weird. the mush. Um, so. Why even purchase an edible outfit uh, when you can just dabble in experimentation with food items? I was speaking about this on my stream recently, and I'm going to share a story, Luch, if you don't mind. Um, I asked, what about popsicles? Like, would that be fun? And I shit you not, Luch, let me know if this is too much. I don't want to get on your bad side. Let me know if it's too much. Um, he had an issue where he was playing with a popsicle and uh, spent five minutes trying to get it out of his lady Lover. friend. Yeah, it broke off in there. Oh, shit. It broke off in there. I mean, it is made out of like kind of Just fragile had ice, to get right? get warm. Had to lick it out, had to finger it out, you know, that whole seasoning <laughs> marinade. What if you fart on accident while wearing them? Then oh, someone's God. getting a spicy Season zesty your treat. Marinade? <laughs> the best part though, and this is not true, but I'm gonna, make up, I'm gonna make up the ending of the story is when Luch finally got that popsicle back out, it had melted down, and so he got to the little joke on the stick. Yes. <laughs> it just said you are the joke. <laughs> oh wow, oh, that's oh. harsh. It's no, like, why are you laughing joke, at this? But... The joke's in your hand. What? Oh. Thank you so much, uh, Smoke... Smoke you... Yules? Smoke Yules? For the smoke oh, yeah. Smoke Yules is, uh, is actually from my Discord group with, uh, with Rising Phoenix Esports. Whoa! 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 Small world! Very Maybe cool. he didn't know you were on here? Well, well I mean, I did. Get you post. banned from the Dairy Queen drive-thru for <laughs> life, Luch? <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. It was a now, popsicle. As, as a very important disclaimer to anybody listening to this, um, and this is just done. This is this is something I learned through research because me and an ex uh, did kind of have that same kind of fun, though it never disappeared inside of her like that. Um, if you have food items with real Tight. sugar. Tight. You can actually risk a yeast infection. So, ladies and gentlemen watching, be sure not to use real sugar and things like that unless you're going to clean it out rapidly because you don't want to ruin the next day's fun. Absolutely. I'll, I'll second that. Um, get a, a sugar free diabetes popsicle if you're going to get fucked with <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get myself right. a diabetes ding dong. <laughs> and sometimes they cost a little bit more, but go to Costco. Go get to the Costco 300, get 30... 300 pack. <laughs> of, get 30 sugar-free and eat them in one week. Yeah. And you could get down almost every day of the you year. You could have a freeze every day minus the weekends. Just Basically get an every auto, day minus auto Sunday. Pop and just insert it like a tampon. When you're oh, done, no. when you're done your place. bedroom is going to look like Willy room. Wonka's candy factory. Wrappers <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Children will be sucked up into the ceiling and they'll get stuck for a second. <laughs> and then they'll go up. Uh, you know, children will eat blueberries and start to explode. That's just starting to get out of the realm of that we want to be talking about. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are there children and here? To explode too. As, haven't you seen Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, but Willy? this is not the same Chocolate Factory you're talking about right now. Why were there... Oh, you're talking about your own Chocolate Factory. Is that where, mm -hmm. where we're going? Okay. Yeah. Moving on, yes, here we go. So my Actually, budget would that is be, would that be called Willy Wankers? <laughs> <laughs> Someone rule thirty four, Google that, please, and let us know what it's called. Um, oh my born, gosh. born to sixty nine asks, why does Slexia hate horses? Which is better, skirts, skorts, or kilts? Two parter. I think those are two separate questions. It's not like I'm gonna what tie them together. Eight horses. Which of those would you rather wear while riding a horse? Or kilt? Is mm -hmm. it is that why you hate horses? So because of skirts, I will tell. Or kilts? I'll tell the horse story quickly one more time. Born when I was at Girl Scout camp, I was given the old horse that had a behavioral disorder, and her name was Molly. She was wily. I did not go on a hike. I stayed back. Well, all of the other Girl Scouts went on their horses on a trail in the mountains, and I just cried and stared at this terrifying horse with green hoof covers. And their eyes are dark and black and have the pits of hell in them. That's why I don't <laughs> like horses. Now, for the skirts, skorts, or kilts, I can only answer about the skirts or skorts, although a kilt is... I'm not sure. I think it's just a skirt. But... Uh, skirts, because skorts are so 90s, and I did wear those. I was probably wearing a skort at Girl Scout camp when I got on that horse. Um, but for those men that don't know, a skort is a pair of shorts with a flap over the front trying to make it look like a skirt. And that's, you know, so from the back, you're like, oh, nice pair of shorts. Oh, those are booty shorts. And then you look at the front, you're like, what the fuck? It's a skirt? Mm, I was confused. I was like, what is a squirt? Is that when yeah. you uh, pour cocaine and then snort it? Probably not. <laughs> I wanted to clarify. I know that there's people like, what the fuck is this question? What's a squirt? <laughs> What's a fucking squirt? <laughs> um, but for the meme, I had killed. shorts. I had shorts <laughs> when I was a kid. And I they definitely were, had shorts too. It, it, was, it was worse than that. It was for for a small number of years back in the 90s, they decided that they were going to make pants that zipped off into shorts. Right. And you'd be I, like, I, I, I can pair those. It's like, I, I can pair those so cool. right now. You're, is that what you're wearing right now? And just, just no, 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 no. Wearing them. them out? I, I do have them for camping, though. It is super, super convenient. Yeah, nice. it's like, all right, I'm going camping. I'm only going to bring one pair of pants slash shorts with me. I need this. Um, and uh, I had a pair of those, but they were jeans, and it was it was a dark time. But uh, I wore the hell out of those. Yikes! What, I can already picture see. it now. Oh, they would hey, be called Luch, chance I am nowadays. so sorry, but I told your chance? popsicle chance. fucking story, and I, I don't love think chance. you were here. <laughs> we got onto the subject of edible underwear. 
our edible clothes and I said you know Luch was fucking around with a popsicle had to like eat it out of someone because it got it fell off in there so I asked for permission you didn't respond I assumed I had the liberty um so yeah uh Keladorn saying I thought it was I thought it was when you were going to fart in your shorts but you squirt into them ew <laughs> squirt <laughs> yikes it's just a tight asshole fart and... that makes a squirt noise. So. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, like, this is going to be quiet. <laughs> Kellenorn, I'm so glad my son walked out of his bedroom in time to hear Slexia say, popsicle fucking. <laughs> well, let's hope he didn't walk out of his bedroom when you were asking me to fuck you earlier <sighs> this week playing Hots, and I said no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Moving on, I think we're done with questions. Oh wait, actually, is there one more? Let me let me chant. Let me let me let me chat real quick. Let me score real quick. Let me score on out of this conversation. Uh, you asked a question. Is anyone else frustrated by this? And then posted a video which we won't show. So I think we can skip that. Oh, oh yes. Here's the real question: Why does Slexia use light mode from Weenus in the Discord? Because holy balls. I'm ready for your reasoning. Because I I enjoy uh, the fresh, crisp look. And Discord, not sponsored, let me just say, I know it's hard to tell, uh, recently revamped light mode, making it so much more appealing. And I am enjoying it even more. My Twitch is set into dark mode, um, but that is only because I'm too lazy to switch it back to light mode. And also, it's just an extra light source with the monitor in front of me, so I don't have to blast my face with, like, a ring light or something. Well, thank God Twitch chat is uh, user side and not streamer side, because I will hold on to my dark mode to my dying breath, and shame on you for using yes. white mode. I'm Agreed. sorry, I don't have a 92-inch monitor hanging right next to the temples of, uh, you know, my right temple just waiting to fall that uh, would blind me if it were in light mode. I have a very simple setup. I'm a girl on the go, pl you know what I mean? I, I can't be bogged down and tied down with permanent fixtures, like large screen TVs serving as a monitor. She has other Hashtag things that are large that she's fine with anyways. Yeah, it makes it hard to play on the couch if you're taking your desktop with you all the time. Right. I agree. I love to play on the The laptop couch. gives you the opportunity to, to be <clears throat> on the move and play on, the, on your lap so to each the their go. own hook up I a prefer monitor this... roll a chair over make it look like you play in a gaming chair instead of just sit here to stream and, <laughs> and <laughs> do the show yeah i love sitting in the man cave in my old man chair falling asleep uh in the middle of re-watching a cast of our of our of our game which happened last night <laughs> I woke up like, hey, let's all watch the cast. I was like, all right, cool, yeah. And then I woke up hours later, <laughs> alone in, ch in in still in voice chat, and no one else was there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> how long have I been asleep for? <laughs> it's that damn sleep. Schedule. Hey, you know what? Be happy. That's all that happened. There have been a handful of times my buddy had themselves in the uh, Discord chat and have sex. Oh, without muting their microphone, and I'm pretty confident. Um, Sounds like they're doing that. that that shit on. Purpose. If you're watching this, you need to you need to correct me or keep me honest here. But weren't you guys in the middle of a raid when someone started boning? I don't know if you're watching this or not, but if you are, I'm gonna say to... yes. I'm gonna say yes. I am good watching. Good for them. So I'll say yes. Good for them and good for you. Fap fodder is always welcome. Do not at <laughs> Fap me. Fap fodder. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that's it for questionable questions. Am I right? When you're right, you're all right, all right, all right. All right. Well, all let's right. go into our next segment. People are fucking monsters. Oh, yes. All right. This week, we have a doozy. For you. Let's... A euphemism? Laughing, sir? No, I'm not using a euphemism. <laughs> so the top story is is definitely the best because of how serious it is, but the bottom two stories are definitely the most interesting and I think the funniest. 
I want to go wherever you go. All right, let's do let's just do the bottom three real quick because the first one is simple and it's more of like a question and a uh, concept. So oh, I'll go there first. This one is titled "Sex Dolls." Customers are ordering models that look like their mates' girlfriends. So this comes from the mirror. <laughs> This comes from the mirror, which uh, I believe is a British news so a British news source. Uh, All right, rightio. They've been what making they've been making their sex dolls look like their mates' girlfriends, and it's quite disturbing. Bloody hell! <laughs> uh, what yeah, fuck's so, wrong with these wankers? <laughs> so the sex doll customers are asking for models that look like their mates' girlfriends. Uh, they get a lot of inquiries about like movie stars and other celebrities but the highest request is for basically their their buddies uh buddies ladies so that's something that nice. i thought was interesting um and uh yeah what do you guys think about that that seems kind of kind of creepy a little creepy i mean are sex dolls creepy in general or um, are they fine where's the stigma on this issue at I least feel like it's that's not a targeted question at me for some reason. Um, <laughs> how did you know I recently dabbled in I've been trying to get a sex doll of Slexia for months and they keep saying no, no, no man, no, no. Absolutely not. But first of all, like why not just close your eyes and or watch a POV and be like, Oh yeah, that's Becky, my best friend's mate or my mate's girlfriend and just fucking do it. But uh, I don't know. I think it's a large investment for something that like is hard to hide, right? It's not like you're you know, ordering not an inflatable every... party goat. This is not like everybody a, has a the human ability to like... actually envision in their head, though. So you ask people to use their imaginations, and it just doesn't work. I think if but you actually ADHD. have a POV video of your mate's girl going through all the hoopsy doopsy, I don't <laughs> think you actually need the. I don't think you actually need the doll because you're getting what you're after. Yeah. Fuck up once, in the flesh. record that shit. And then play it while you wank. I don't know. I don't know. You've got to Ticket. have a right good mate to actually record that. Really. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. All aboard the wank station. All right. I just wanted to share tickety that. Tickety boo. I don't know. <laughs> just a random tickety boo. Reported. Reported for being racist against our brothers across the blue. The blue wet. The blue As wet. As he cracks a beer. <laughs> Um, but to go back to your first question, is it creepy? At least it. That's all I have to say. At least what? At least they're not requesting dolls of their family members. Oh, what damn. What if the girlfriend <laughs> is yes. a family member? You know, oh. this is not defined in the Damn, article. okay. Ooh, never mind. Yeah, never it's, mind. it's a little spicy. I like it though. <laughs> Those are the questions that need to be asked. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's move on uh, to our next news story. So this is a two-parter. Part number one. <laughs> a sorry. vegan woman sued her neighbors for barbecuing in their backyard, quoting, it's deliberate. So there's this vegan woman in Australia, and she is very pissed. Um, I don't think we can play the video, but uh, we probably we might not have any visuals for this. I can, uh, let me get it. Sorry, I was reading the other one. Yikes. So her name is Scylla Carden, uh, and she took it to the Supreme Court of Western Australia, uh, talking about complaining of the smell of meat and fish emanating from their barbecues is uh, basically it's deliberate and it's impeding on her liberty. Uh, she says, all I can smell is fish. I can't enjoy my backyard. What? And, you know, maybe the fish isn't coming from the backyard. Maybe it is. Who knows? Uh, Let me pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, she is suing because her neighbors are using their barbecue, and she's a vegan, and she wants them to stop. Um, and she took it to the Supreme Court. The, the thing that's funny about this, I mean, both people are pissed, like because she's like trying to sue them, and they're just trying to eat meat, and maybe they're taunting her with it. But the thing that's funny is there's a new, another news story that came out a few days after this one. And this one's titled, Massive barbecue planned outside vegan's home after she complained <laughs> about meat smell. So basically, oh, man, that's rough. basically right. the neighbors came up and uh, decided that they were going to create an event 
uh, outside of this lady's home, which is, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of mean. A massive barbecue planned outside Vegan's home after she complained have, about the meat. I have the video pulled up. Okay. Let's watch this. Yeah, I don't know if anybody can hear this or not. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> All I can smell is fish. Watch it, global news, because you must <laughs> watch it. Wow. So, anyways, I think that's kind of funny. I mean, that's kind of a dick thing to do. Like, obviously, she's, you know, she's... Yeah, but if you're going to go that far out of your way to take someone to freaking, uh, what, you said Supreme Court? Yeah, I no, guess sure, revenge. Yeah. It's basically revenge, right? So, like, it's seeking revenge for her taking them to the Supreme Court. And I guess it's within their rights. It just kind of makes them a, a, a little bit of a dick, but... At the same time, like it's kind of justified, I would say. So I, don't I know. think it's it's fair play at that point. <laughs> would you attend? Would you attend this barbecue, Kobe? Uh, absolutely. Because if I you love if you were stuff. you know if you were local in the area, obviously you're not going to fly to Australia to attend this. But I crack open a stubby and I go to the Bobby. <laughs> I'd throw some vegans on the Bobby. <laughs> What about you, Slexi? Would you Ooh. attend this or no? Um, you know, I'm not really looking to go to the Outback. They have large critters, and it's hot when it's cold here. It's cold when it's hot there, and it's just everything's upside down. I, I'm just, I'm not interested. No. You don't want Christmas in bikinis? Come on. Nope. Kel Adorn says, "Can you just sacrifice a lamb on her front porch?" Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Did you hear about that creepy guy that was leaving like television TVs I on people's that. porch? Yeah, it's like all right with the like, TV on his head. Like that's even better. <laughs> yeah, he's captured on a bunch of, of of home video cameras, and he's just like walking up, and he's got like this this mask of a television, and he leaves the TV <laughs> on their doorstep and just leaves. I think that's funny. It's kind of yep. kind of I, I really enjoy harmless pranks um, that don't hurt anybody, scare anybody. Well, I mean, sometimes Agreed. scary. Sometimes scaring is funny as long as. One time, I accidentally scared this old lady, and for a second, I thought she was having a heart attack. And after <laughs> that, yeah, like she legit fell over, and it was just like one of those hide behind the corners, like jump out and be like, "Ha!" And because I thought it was gonna be one of my, I thought it was gonna be somebody else, like a coworker, and it like a younger coworker who always tries to play jokes on me, whatever. Just wrong place, <laughs> wrong time. Rawr! and just she i was like oh my gosh are you okay it was it was close another another time uh the so my my buddy uh she was going on this cleanse diet right and so she always brought this like for the for the a week she brought like this water bottle full of this pink liquid and she would drink it every day and so i came into the hallway out of my office and i saw that it was sitting on top of the water cooler because she was probably in the bathroom I'm like perfect so i took it and I put it and hid it in the in the uh, supply closet. I'm like, this is gonna be great. And instead of my friend, the IT director steps out of the restroom, goes over to the water cooler, and is like, "Did you take my drink?" And I was like, "Yes, yes, I did." <laughs> <laughs> and I went over to the to the maintenance closet, pulled it out, and handed it to him like. I'm really sorry. I thought you were someone else. I thought this belonged to someone else. <laughs> and they're like, all right, well, I guess I'm not drinking this. And then they just walked off. I was like, oh, no. Oh my God. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Th those are uh, almost career eliminating moves. But, yeah, uh, you think you're being fun, and instead you are messing with one of the directors accidentally and yeah <clears throat> yeah let's move on to that next article i do have the uh collateral pulled up and ready uh for the massive barbecue that was planned no what other one do you want to cover 
I guess we should watch the stream. What do you, what'd you pull up? Oh, I haven't pulled oh, it up man. yet. I, I, I have it ready. Okay, which one are you? Which one do you have ready? The, the My last face, one? I'm just like, it's Dead Eyes. Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, it okay, is you want, the scientists you want to do one more or you want to save it? Knives don't work. Oh, okay. Wait, We're going to go into it? Okay. Let's yeah. do it. Poop so. knives. Oh, we should air. I'm going to, I'll share the link with Kobe here. Check out this link. All right. So this is, this is not just like a news story. This is something from Science Direct. This is a scientific <laughs> journal with highlights, abstracts. It's got the introduction, materials, and methods, results, discussion. It has acknowledgments, uh, author con contributions. Like it even has like, it has like a spreadsheet that indicates what people ate uh, before and after collection. This is basically what we're talking about. So um, let's let's get into this. It says uh, this table one, the diet and fecal sample collection schedule. Uh, moving on, we see uh, some fecal knives, uh, specifically ceramic models, were. <laughs> Created by pushing a sharp before stone before blade. we go into this document before we go into this document we have to tell you what the experiment's about so basically what what they're trying to prove here at Kent State is that there's there's been a lot of accounts of an of an uh, you know in traditions of an Inuit man who made a poop blade uh, from his own <laughs> fecal matter killed a dog with it and then used it as a sled and had another dog drive him off into into the sunset so this is like something that's from from legend <laughs> from from these people and so it's like it's almost <laughs> and so the question comes up is is it possible to make a knife from your own poop in the freezing cold and actually stab something with it so they're going through the whole scientific method and that is what the sheet is oh my gosh i love a good scientific method so let's take a look at uh, the pictures and not read because who reads anymore am i right um the pictures are probably what matter. Uh, so ceramic molds, it says ceramic molds, I'm not reading it now, were created by pushing sharp stone blade into fresh standard earthenware potter's clay. Uh, they were fired in an, in an <laughs> scut you fired. automatic electric kiln, so in a, in a kiln. Uh, let's move on. Wait, hold on, before you move on, uh, when I first pulled up this document and I looked at that picture, I was like, oh my God, that is a lot of shit. And why does it look like like <laughs> cupcake brownie mix? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's that's Potter's clay. Okay, okay, thank God. I was like, how much shit did they collect for this? Oh my god! And then like smoothed it out. Ugh. <laughs> I was like they frosted it and then they tasted it. It's Here's an example of a hand shaped knife blade. So they did two versions: one Ugh. where they made one where they made molds out of clay. So they could push all the crap in there and make a blade, and one was their handmade uh, poop knife, uh, basically that they just made from shaping it with their hand without Thank a mold. God, they have gloves on. I mean, yeah. So an example of a frozen feces blade from the ceramic mold. Have ugh, I'm done. Let's just go through the pictures and get out of here. <laughs> So they use these knives on they a sharpened with the metal file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they sharpened it, and they used it to try and cut pig skin. Oh my pig god! Hide. Look at the shit streaks. He's literally and, uh, yeah, and their documentation <laughs> is like did not cut through the pig skin <laughs> because the tip of the blade started to melt and smear. <laughs> melt and smear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big man. blue says this is this is. Fucking disgusting, but acceptable. <laughs> Welcome, Valcomer. We gave a shout out to your mom earlier. Oh, not man. during this. Not during this segment. So and we've so officially upgraded the Chicago Steamroller into the. <laughs> yeah, and so and they basically nice. they're doing they're doing this at like they're freezing this their crap uh, just so that it's like in the same conditions as the Eskimos. Uh, I don't, can you say Eskimos anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I thought that was funny, and then they wrote down everything that they were eating and stuff. They had to change their their diet to be like mostly like fatty, meaty protein, because uh, that's what you'd find up there. Um, anyways, I just thought it was really funny because it's a really silly question: Can you cut skin with a poop knife? Scientist says 
No, <laughs> you can't. But that they actually went through all. Yeah, but that they actually went through all the steps. Uh, this is Kent State University. Uh, they probably did get funding for this. Uh, and <laughs> at first I was mad. I was like, why can't they be researching? And then I was like, actually, this is fun. Like, I'm glad they're actually researching <laughs> something where they will find a result and they'll get answers. That is That's, just... Because, you know, it's... guesstimating whether or not a poop knife would work is something that you just... You, you have to actually... Cold That's... hard facts. Imagine getting Indeed. in such a debate over Thank you, frozen Luch, yes. shit that you actually put together... <laughs> A hypothesis and then execute on the experiment itself with your findings eating changing your diet shitting and sculpting it and freezing it like come on imagine their results were very shitty yes Kelly. They're, yeah Absolutely. they're gonna test they're gonna test knives that they shit out of their potentially cancer-ridden colon because they still haven't cured cancer there's a comment that I wanted to go back to <laughs> that I'm going to find because it was really, really funny. Oh, there it is. It's by Laughing Underwater. This feels like an Arby's sponsored segment. <laughs> <laughs> How did I miss That's that? That's right. There's the horsey sauce. Yeah, I had to go back and read that one because it's just so funny. We have the meats. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. I think that wraps up People Are Monsters. Before we head into the most sensual portion of the show, do you guys want to do a would you rather? I have one for Slexia. Slexia, do you have one for Kovi? And then Kovi, do you have one for me? I can find one in just a split second. We'll do a triangle. So try to try to come up head. with try to come up with original one um, from you, but uh, I'll start and we'll go. We'll, we'll we'll choose you last. So Slexia, this one I was thinking about for you. And it's kind of boring, but I am very curious. Okay. Would you rather never be able to have coffee again or anything you ate had to be prepared by you? Is that tough or is it just like instant? Anything I ate would have to be prepared by me. I wouldn't. You couldn't give up coffee. I couldn't. No. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, that would be that. I I because I was like, mm, she likes coffee a lot. All right. So coffee I wins. I hate cooking. We know this. I hate. I hate having to think about food. Like the stereotype of, of women. They're like, when when a guy asks, "What do you want for dinner?" I literally will never know. Ever. Because it's a process. It's a process. You have to go to the store. You have to get the stuff. You have to bring it home. Then you got to cook it. And then you got to clean up everything afterwards. So it, it's a process. People are like, yeah, that's normal. Like, why I, is that hard for you? I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I'm lazy. I'm sorry. I would just make my own, like, protein boxes at home and have to live off of that. Would you use the shit blade? <laughs> mold, Damn mold it. Method? Absolutely. <laughs> If I had to, if that was part of it, like give up coffee or make your own food using a frozen shit blade, I would make my own food using a frozen shit blade. Yeah. That's it. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Hit Kobe with something. What, what you got? Tell me what you got. Kobe. Dyslexia. Hey, let me put my other, my other <clears throat> earbud in so I can hear you better when I ask you this. Yeah. <sighs> Mm. And that's all a distraction while I actually think of something. Hear me all you want. You. <laughs> okay, thinking about it. Would you rather wrap <laughs> dental floss so tightly around your dick that it falls off? Ooh, damn. Or would you rather face fuck your grandma? Oh, God. Oh, God. Why can't we get any more ghost guests on the show? Because Alexia asks questions like this. Ah! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he just leaves. He's like, "Out here, I'm by. I'm out here." Um. Uh. Oh, that's a tough I'm one. I'm fucking though. waiting. Hello. Oh, that is so really wait, tough. Is, is there is there a time requirement for this? Like, does this have to happen soon or? Or what? Actually, no. 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 You know what? Fine. I would rather dental floss my dick off when I'm like fucking 90 
because you never gave me a time constraint. I can still have children, I can still have my grandchildren, and I don't floss my dick off. Or Your I grandma just wait. wouldn't be alive then, so oh, it's gotta be, be you know, while she's still alive. I hate you. Oh. I guess I'm gonna have to cut a hole into a bed cover. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He'd still rather have his dick and face fuck his grandma. I want, I want kids, man. I'm the you only are a one monster. of my bloodline. I'm People thinking about are my children. monsters. You saw it here. We moved on too soon. No, we're I'm thinking still... about my children. What yeah. children? Are you gonna show my your future grand... children? Are you gonna show your grandma this episode now after Absolutely a grinder and then this? <laughs> Absolutely like, not. Grandma... There's just gonna be a bunch of in there from you know <laughs> post editing <laughs> how do you know laughing underwater is not your grandma in twitch chat right now i know for that's a fact that's a valid question because how she do... doesn't even know what twitch is <laughs> yet right yes right yeah everybody's gonna be like all right let's find kobe's grandma let's show her the episode all right that was brutal <laughs> flexia wow Absolutely well, off the cuff brutal. you know you gotta make things up and you gotta make your guests feel nice and comfortable while joining I think my, my pedestrian right. question kind of set you up to just be like, let's rip in. So it's up to you, Kobe. I will answer whatever your would you rather is. It can be brutal if you want. It could be uh, dumb like mine. Whatever you whatever you want. I mean, I, I feel like I have to reel it back in because Celexia threw it so fucking far south. So my question to you would be, would you rather eat with paper utensils for the rest of your life or fo forge your own utensils for the rest of your life? Uh, what kind okay. of rated G questions? No, with that's a legitimate question. Like, either you have paper utensils like California's fancy ass paper straws, you know, that work so fucking well, uh, but also forks, knives, and spoons. Do they have paper, forks, knives, and spoon, or is it just like they just don't work and you're basically like pissed? No, no, like I've seen I've seen cardboard like pressed spoons before. So I'm sure they do continue to exist on everything else. I hate you, Looch. Oh, I uh, love you, Grandma. Thanks for the <laughs> clip, Looch. You oh, like man. Like I literally I have a little bit of vomit just like prepared to come out thinking about that entire thing, by the way, just so you know. Oh, okay. So I, I either have to use paper utensils all the time or my own constructed by hand utensils. Yes, but forged metal. So, so I, like the level of effort is extremely high. Okay, so I, I would have to forge my own set of utensils and basically take them with me everywhere I go. Precisely. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the forging because if I can only use paper utensils, I'm gonna have to bring those with me everywhere I go too, because a lot of places don't have those all the time. Let's so, assume that every place will have paper utensils as an alternative for you. But otherwise I'm that weirdo that brings their own silverware with them. It's My like when you God. go to God. I'm sorry. You can't bring it on this the plane, question. But, all right, anyways. What it has gone so fuck? far. Right now. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to pick the Metal Forge flatware, and we can move on, Slexia. I like your style. I want, can you make a video of you uh, forging them? Dude, I almost burned my house down trying to fix my washing machine. Like, me with molten metal? What do you think's going to happen? I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna lose arms, <laughs> hands. Uh, maybe I won't have to even worry about dental floss being wrapped around something, depending on where all that molten metal goes. <laughs> He'll tape. My goodness. He'll tape snacks to his body for a movie theater, but uh, you know he will not eat paper utensil with a paper utensil. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wow. Well, thanks for your. Would you rather? Um, it just felt so tame and. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I give it a thumbs up. I think that was a well thought out one, Kobe, because you had oh. to think about it. Thanks. Yeah, actually. I support our guest. Selexia, I don't I don't care about your thumbs up or support. <laughs> we know where you can stick that thumb. And then search for I it later. I will stick with it somewhere and then post it on your grinder later. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. All right. Moving on. Wow. Let's dim the lights a little bit. Oh, okay. I can do that. Um. All that's left of them. Why don't you change them? Because now it's time for... Prepare your eardrums, everyone, because that bumper might be fucking loud. Open your ear holes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait.
What was that? Slexia, can you take this ser- Can you take this serious, Slexia? That was really rude. It was. I didn't laugh. I was the one farting. I know. Can you stop farting so loud? Yeah, please refrain. Farts. Okay. Well. That would be great. Yikes. You're so loud that I can't hear my, my own brain right now. Kofi's mic. Is that better? Kofi's mic is picking up Grandma in the other room. <laughs> From moistness. They're like, meow. It's mothy in there, you know what I mean? All right, why don't you tell them what we're doing this week for Open Your Ear Holes? So far. What are we doing? For Open Your Ear Holes this week, let me go ahead and mute the music if it was even playing. We're going to be whispering some uh, nursery suggested in our discord channel by poetry and uh what we're gonna go ahead and start with is uh go ahead and tell them weenus all right do you guys both have all of the creepy and sensual poetry pulled up no, no, I forgot where to find it at. It's okay, up. Can you, you guys check the chat. I'm gonna read the first one. I can't. This wait first to hear one it. comes from Bye in the Discord, and it goes a little something like this. Peter, Peter, <laughs> pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put a pumpkin shell. He put her in a pumpkin shell, 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 shell. And there he kept her very well, 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 well. Or goosey, goosey gander. Whither does thou wander upstairs? And and in my lady's chair. Ah, there I met an old man, 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 who wouldn't say his prayers, prayers, prayers. I took him by the left leg, 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 and threw him down the stairs, 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 stairs. Fucking amazing. That was pretty crazy. I liked it a lot, especially the twirl of the The orbital sound was fantastic. You guys are the best. Just listen to this. Gripping for you. I'll take the second one. This one comes from our community. It's a patchwork of amazing. Yeah. So, so little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her cursed way. Along came a spider that sat down beside her and said, What's in the bowl, bitch? Dickory, dickory, cock, I mean, dog, dog. That was Lexius. Dickory, dickory, dick. Jack sat on a stick. His ass slid down. He made not one sound, but boy, did he jump up quick. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. okay, bear with me. I'm going to try something. <laughs> God, I'm getting the tingles. Is anyone else in chat getting the tingles from Weenus? I think they just want us to move on. on. (laughs) It's my turn, bitches. So shut the fuck up. This is... I'm gonna mute you guys. This is called... Who knows? It's... Owl and the pussy cat went to sea in a beautiful, a beautiful <laughs> pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note. The 
you are. What a beautiful pussy you are. That was very sensual. Beautiful. Now I have a random sound as well. One second. You're underground, and a tractor is moving the earth <laughs> above you. I'm imagining. You are, you're a mole in a hole, but your soul is on fire, fire, fire. Okay, I'm there with you. <clears throat> That popcorn you should explode it. That'd be great. Where's the popcorn? Popcorn, popcorn. It's pork rinds. Oh, that's even better. Oh my god. Look at Chicharrones. Look at, that. Look at Where that. they cut with shit knives. Look at that freaking feisty sassy pig. Oh yes. Can you take a bite of one for me? Alright, we'll do this. Just just the corn. Oh my god, it's it's oh, curved. It's so crispy. It's so it looks like a little elf's shoe. <laughs> I'm glad you said shoe instead of something yeah. else. Yeah, it's Here like a go. little pointy toe. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. One more. I mean, sounded. That's spelled. One more time, and this time it's going to be a little bit more savage. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> if you blinked, you missed it. You gobbled that chicharrone like it was a. You know what Big I mean? Dick. We're done here. All right. Mm -hmm. That was Open Your Delicious. Ear Holes brought to you by Cheer69 Nursery. And runs. Dyson, because I need to vacuum up my floor after this because there's I was... runs all over it. <laughs> I was expecting a large explosion of that bag, but it remained full and taut, you know, until mm, you opened taut it. like a tiger. Yeah. Until you opened it and took a couple out to munch on. Unfortunately, you know, the show's coming to an end. And um, we have our usual... But before we get into that, I want to you know, just remind everyone that we did mention a safe word earlier in the show. <clears throat> and we do have a giveaway for a game. So, uh... Do you have Nightbot ready to accept the code word? Oh, I do. The, the game is called Grinder Grinder. Where can Ooh, I find actually, her? Actually, let's ask, let's, ask, <laughs> let's ask chat what kind of game they want. <clears throat> Um, 
there's a couple different kind of games. There's like, there's side scrolling adventure games. There's some cutesy games. There's some uh, first person shooter games. Um, and then there's some uh, survival games. So if anybody has a preference um, of what style of game, I went through and I watched all the trailers. Best sneeze ever. Watching Weena's Chew. Oh, yeah, it's it's gross. I know. It's um, beautiful. Oh. So if you guys have a preference between, like, cutesy, side-scroller, first-person shooter, or um, rando, maybe... Tell them what the safe word is so they can start typing it in. Ladies and gentlemen, the safe word is fire hose. <laughs> is that all one word, all lowercase? all one word, all lowercase. Like that, right? Just like that. All right. I can't win, but I just want to make sure that it was posted correctly. So type in fire hose right <laughs> now. If you guys need a reminder of why. Let's oh never forget <laughs> the grinder escapades that Kobe <laughs> had where fire hose was mentioned and he decided I, I don't even I don't even own an Android that is clearly an Android device that, that was being sent from, just saying. It's clearly an Apple device, as you can see the Apple on mine. Well, I don't know what grinder's text shit looks like, and that looks very Android esque. Well, Moving as on. You can see... Uh, my phone is uh, definitely a Loganita's phone because that's the symbol on the back. Uh, I like so, that. Yeah, it's a great absolutely. Phone, All right, Firehose is the code word. Let's uh, get into a couple of other announcements uh, before hmm. we're done here. Um, so, Weenus put something in here uh, to decide on a show title, and I think this is something. Uh, Something we should do. I think this should be called Cheer 69, Episode 4, The Adventures of Covey's Fire Hose. <laughs> I, I think it should just be called Fire Hose. <laughs> but. Yeah, I think uh, every episode should it, be. It, it should come from chat, though. It'll, chat, you guys get to decide. Think about it. Mull it over. What about, like, I'm giving suggestions. Just Cheer 69, Fire Hose safe words Firehose, safe word like like you know mine would be if i were a guest cheer 69 nomenclature that is the worst safe word ever what shit knives or nomenclature <laughs> actually i mean it's probably good like <laughs> you can't really shame someone for their safe word because it is what it is and it's not supposed to be a common one so that makes sense uh it's not as bad as like uh, i don't know like ice cream like that's a pretty that would be a pretty bad safe word, right? <laughs> I, ice cream? Maybe anyway. uh Yeah. Maybe. At least it's not clost flump or whatever the hell that stuff's called. Mm -hmm. what, what, I, what did I say on what did I say on Twitter? I think my, my safe word was my scythe my scythe. No wait, my that was born was... to shines. Sorry. Um I don't know. It was something amazing. Like Floops <laughs> like flop strugen. Flop and stropper. I don't know, Struber. I'm making it up. Quick and Sprock and Google and Frogger! It's the safe word, and exactly. uh, I don't say it very often. But you do spray it. I saw it. Okay. So, uh, another quick announcement. Our guest next week will be not Paradox. The, hey! hey. Um, maybe you've heard the of him. The man with the sexy voice? Maybe you've not. Paradox. Man who's hot, hot, hot. And it is going to be a spicy time because whoever hears him talk about anything but hots, let's make him uncomfortable. Let's get you in that Discord with some uh, questionable questions. And, I would um, love to see someone more uncomfortable than I was today. Like, I think I beat Sam on comfort levels. I, I don't think that... I think you we've probably posed the most uncomfortable questions to you over any guest so far. <laughs> and that it will always remain that way. It was a challenge <laughs> that I gave myself and I uh, brought it into fruition. I accepted the challenge, executed well, and we have some spicy memes for it. Who loves grandma? She wrote on Friday the 13th. Yeah, exactly. How, what can I say to get Kobe not to come to WenusCon? 
<laughs> Speaking of Nothing. which, that is the next <laughs> reminder. Weenus Con is September 27th through the 29th here in Las Vegas. It's going to be hot and sweaty and moist and sweaty moist. Your ass crack will be dripping with various different types of fluids, bodily and not bodily, um, when mm. you join us for a good time. That means we're going to a water park. Don't don't get too. And excited. also, I'm doing all the announcements. Just fuck it. Shut up. It's my turn. Just kidding. Uh, Weenus does an amazing thing sometimes, and it's actually one of the first times we hung out. It was during this. This is how our friendship blossomed into such such an amazing thing. He does something called hot shots. Basically, Weenus sits down, decides to stream with a bottle of liquor, take shots, and others that play in a 5v5 ARAM also take shots after being voted the worst player. Weenus, as you can imagine, after the Zul'jin story with 17 deaths gets very shit-faced throughout the entirety <laughs> of the stream, and it is a fucking hilarious time. I have a clip uh, that I, on his channel, there's a, quite a few from when we played together, but one of the most notable and memorable was when he was shit-faced yelling, Rainer, 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 kill Rainer. And he was actually the Rainer. <laughs> with low health dying. It's true. I was talking about Tychus. All I could see was Rainer. <laughs> Happened. His eyes were this open. And he was like, Rainer, 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 fuck. As he died. <laughs> So much. That's great. tomorrow night at 6 p.m., Hot Shots on twitch.tv slash moist weenus. I'll be there. 6 p.m. I might even I might if I might even drink. Weenus, let's set up my webcam with yours. I've never been drunk on camera, but I'm willing to pop that cherry if you'd like. Man, you guys had to schedule that right when I had my DND session. That's cool. Oh, well, you know, you can kind of phone it in for DND. No, I'm just kidding. My DND <laughs> session is uh Tomorrow, actually, tomorrow morning at oh, morning. 11 a.m. over that's a uh, Jinxie Cat. So that will be over twitch.tv slash Jinxie Cat. You should check her out. She's a great streamer. She does a lot She's of fabulous. underlords, hots, and stuff as well. Uh, are we mentioning the first reminder, or is that we should probably ping that too, right? Or did you already do that? Also, to uh, this Sunday, I am assisting not Paradox, our guest next week, with a 1v1. ARAM tournament that he will be casting on his channel. Um, obviously not every game, but it is going to be on Cursed Hollow. You can either die three times. Well, if you die three times, you lose. Or if you lose your fort, you lose. So your goal is to either kill someone three times or take down their fort. I was practicing with a few ex-pro players today and checking out their strategies. It's going to be a, a spicy time but everyone's welcome to join that. And I will, the link is actually in our discord. Let me uh, get that going. Actually, the night bot's been telling you the discord for the past fucking three hours or however long we've been doing this. <laughs> so go ahead and check that out. Um, Laughing underwater says man alive. How much is your fireball budget weenus? Well, it's cheaper when you buy it in a big handle. <laughs> Like right um, Kobe, thank you so much for the bits. I take back all of the things I said about you fucking your grandma. Oh my god. I am Jeez. so sorry, and I love you. <laughs> thank you so oh. much. So, um, other than that, we're going to get into uh, our usual tell me about a time. And um, oh. I think after... Now it sounds... <laughs> Kobe's going to be judging, I guess, based with uh, based on how funny they are, uh, whether or not we win. He will do us a ding or a, what, a, a ang? Uh, and a buzzer? It's called a, yeah. called a buzz. I don't know. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot. Yeah, it's <laughs> English. Give English is my second language. One. There we go. <laughs> and then what we'll do is go ahead and roll for the... Giveaway, remember, safe word, fire hose, lowercase, one word. If you want to win, type it in chat. And I may uh, or may not have one for either of you two when you guys are done. Just have, ooh, I can't wait. Cocked and loaded. Ooh. Nice. 
Unless you guys take it, then it won't be cock door loaded. <laughs> Giggity. Thank you. Don't know how to interpret that. All right, Weenus, I'm my I'm a little hoarse. Why don't you give us a start? <clears throat> All right. Just kidding. Let me just uh I'm not gonna think of anything, I'm just gonna start going. <clears throat> Tell me about a Tell me about a goddamn time where you took a pillowcase, you cut out some holes in it, you slipped it over your doodle, and you went next door, and you put it through the mail slot for your neighbors, and started screaming through the keyhole, look at my wiggly waggly scraggly maggly fun time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you had me at the freaking pillowcase because of my comment. <laughs> but she didn't crack. No, so she unfortunately... didn't seem to like that one. But is maybe it, if she, if she big... had a penis, she might like a little bit more. That's a big buzz. Sorry, bud. All right. But you get my vote. So I get a point from you, but no points from Slexia. Yep. Very it good. was funny. It was. Tell me about a time, Slexia. me about a time when you took an inflatable air mattress, cut open the bottom and hid your body in it, went camping with your friends that wanted to go without you. And when they filled the air mattress up, you exploded out of the top with all your pee pee and poo poo onto their faces. And their dog will. What what the hell did Will ever do to you, Slexia? Yeah, <laughs> Will is getting the shaft. Yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't funny, my bad. So this is the weenus vote. And you get a quick, quick I mean, thing. don't get me wrong, I liked it. I thought it was really good. We'll do another. We'll, do one, we'll okay, do one more. We'll do one more. Round. And then we'll get one from Kobe at the Let end. Let me look at your video when you do it, because I'm liable to crack. You have to look. Look. I like how he, he basically yeah. goes. <laughs> I'm going to get closer. Look at me when I, I like do that. that. Is that purple? Or is that just purple from the screen? His eyes are not it's purple. purple from the screen. No, I'm talking about his microphone. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Proceed. Tell me about a time when you went to the Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. And you covered yourself in mayonnaise and oil, and you just flopped around on all them juicy balls, and it bounced into people's faces and on the birthday cakes and all over the children, and they all screamed, and you emerged, bursting forth <laughs> into the air, arms spread, <laughs> saying, I am your mayonnaise Jesus. Tell me about that time. Oh, my God. Let me tell you about a time oh, that was... No, sorry. That was supposed to be a ding. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> wow. I was going to tell you about an actual time that I did that. <laughs> I would love to see that. I love the cresting out of the ball pit image that was just painted <laughs> in my freaking head, too. Mark's just like flopping like... her hair back and everything, just cresting out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I don't think I can beat that. Mouth like a blowhole. I'm not I would like even. I like to hear one more. Tell me about a time, though. All right, all right, all right, all right. I you love don't... your tell me about a times. All right, let me think about it. Let me let me let me think 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 about it. <laughs> Watermelon. Betwixt thighs. <laughs> tell me about a time that you saved the hair from all your friends' brushes for 17 years and created a little nest to sit on in your front patio while drinking a Snapple and singing When the Saints Go Marching In. You're trying not to. I'm trying so hard not to laugh because that was hilarious. <laughs> Give her a point from me because that was, that was great. Two dings. Oh, all right, Kobe, what do you got? That was really funny. <clears throat> I like that one a lot. The Snapple. Uh, 
It's just I wanted so hard not to. Napple. I didn't want to copy your guys' voices, but it's like not the you can't do it unless you're doing the voice. So you gotta talk kind of weird like this. You gotta talk, talk about, like your school a uncle. Sp- no, like a teacher. Like Remember a teacher. I I'm a teacher. I want you to tell me about a time you went to the Costco and bought yourself a family-sized box of popsicles, and you drove home all giddy like in your minivan. And you proceeded to strip down and insert them one and one into every orifice <laughs> <Every orifice. laughs> It's on your body, hoping they'd pull a looch and disappear. <laughs> I, I could not laugh on my own, but I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's, that's part funny. of the challenge, is because you always think you're more hilarious than you really are. I know I suffer oh, from God. that, but I will. Oh, I'm seeing stars. I will, from laughing so hard? <laughs> Weenus, yeah, your one, laugh, your one. laugh makes me laugh. Like, that is why I love doing this show with you. You crack me the fuck up. That was really good, oh, Kobe. I really liked that God. one. That was that was really fun. Oh man, this is. This Tell is me a about a show. time you took a pillowcase and put it over your grandma's head with the hole cut out where her mouth goes, and took your flaccid. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I guess I can stop. <laughs> please, okay. please don't get to need that oh. time. Oh, okay. My head hurts. <laughs> oh, laughing is, <laughs> laugh, laughing is fun. I think this is the longest episode we've ever done. Just so oh, everyone's man. aware, Kobe let us My know before the show, it's 1,200 thread count Egyptian cotton sheets that he uses. Everything oh, ties Almighty. in together. So his grandma's well taken care of. Oh, okay. It had roll. nothing to do with pillowcases, mind you. Let's let's roll something. Let's uh let's roll what looked good. Oh, let's do this. Should we do two? Let's do two. Let's, <laughs> let's do a couple different ones. We'll do Surviving Mars. We'll do that one first. Um, that one is about um, it's kind of it's from the creators of City Skylines. So it's kind of like man, it's like a Sim City on Mars, but you have to keep everybody alive and create cities and stuff like that. But it's on Mars, and it has really good reviews. All these games have really good reviews on Steam. So, roll it. Alrighty. I think we only had a couple Arrow people. Arrow of the Storm. Hey, very good. All right. Ding, All ding, right. Ding, ding, ding. Let me mark that down for Arrow, and let's give away. You won for being the goddamn savage, Arrow. You just won a game for typing fire hose in chat, which, by Let's the way, it. let me remind you, is because no. Kobe had a grinder profile and this Can happened. I redact my 5,000 bits? <laughs> <laughs> Should be able to. Uh, fire right. hose butt. <laughs> fire hose butt. All right, and then Wait. the next, the next one. Okay, so there's two. Let's let's do. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. Let's do God's trigger. So this one is you and a demon are basically teaming up in a top-down shooter arcade. It's kind of like an arcade game, uh, and you are battling death, uh, death and starvation and like a couple other like demons it's kind of like diablo kind of like these are the demons of the world and you and a demon you're an angel you're teaming up and you're going to kick their kick their butt so let's roll one more i think if you just click re-roll it'll hit the same people and we'll just do it for that there you go this hey, is hey you won i'm gonna send it to you well done what? Perfect. Wait, what was the game it's called god's trigger all right well i want to make this... a bunch of selectias and crush them Perfect. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> this is the conclusion of Cheer 69, but we do have an after party tonight over on Moist Weenus's channel. He will be playing Whoa. the Jackbox Party Pack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe, right? You have all of them now. Or are I you do- not? Are you doing it or are you not? Do you have friends like over? You don't know Jack? I actually, I could. I haven't set it up, but it would take about 15 minutes and we could. So, uh, yeah, That's feel free to join us. Yours, either way. No, absolutely not. <clears throat> absolutely not. That is on your hey, channel. Hey, re-roll my gift. I, I, do, I didn't think I was supposed to actually win that I'm, since I'm on the show today. Well, that's what happens when you're selfish and you play the game. Uh, you won. So, oh, okay. oh speaking of to, not Paradox, <laughs> who is now arriving as we're ending the show... 
We did oh, give hey, you girl. a shout out. He will be on the show next week for a science episode. Please go into Discord and ask Whoa. questions. <laughs> the ghost, <laughs> the ghost gif. <laughs> the ghost gif popped up. Uh, ask questions not HOTS related. I mean, who's heard him talk about anything but HOTS? You know what I mean? We're going to get real scientific in here, and it's not going to involve freezing your own shit and trying to cut pork skin. <laughs> okay? But it could if you're lucky. Little knife skin marks on the pork skin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did not penetrate, just melted and then smeared. <laughs> The ugh, I don't even want to continue. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to go through with some quick shout outs really quick. Jinx, Jinxy Cat, thank you so much for the 69 bits. I've been enjoying your streams. If you have not followed Jinxie, check her out. She's just a humble little, you remind me of a fairy or something with your pixie cut, just <laughs> playing your D&D &D and your underlords and hots. Um, give her a follow. She's amazing. Paradox, thank you for the six and the nine bits. Truly appreciated. Kovi, Kovi, first of all, thank you so much for being on the show. I'm gonna go through the plethora of bits you've sent. Thank you for the 2,500 bits. Weenus, thank you for the 69 bits. Smokules, thank you for the follow. Keladorn, thank you for the 200 bits. Weenus for the 69 bits. Kovi for the 690 bits Woo! three times in a row. Weenus, mm. thank you for the 69 bits you don't twice have to in a row. From me. Another in a row. You guys sent 69 nonstop. I remember it was it was a <laughs> it lot. Was great. It so was a lot ghost of 69s. <laughs> and I want to see that ghost one more time. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled <laughs> setting it up, okay? Luke, stop posting that damn clip, please. And Ooh, please love. check Grandma. out the clip. Uh, I want to let everyone know that's just stopping in at the end. We had a would you rather, and I asked Kovi if he would rather Slexy, I hate you. take dental floss <laughs> and oh. wrap it around his dick until it fell off or face fuck his grandma, and he chose his grandma. Mm. Let it be known. And that is I immortalized in the, the clip. I just for the future of my children. I'd like to say, thank every all the subscribers to the channel. 69ville, beautiful holidays. Born to 69, Kovi, Ghost, Dunk, Elidor, and Looch. Mark, 69, not 69, Slexia, Zombear, 69, and Weenus. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm, you love thank you for all this, that. Thank you for all the subs and the continued support, Big Looch. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you in chat uh, regardless. Thank you. We love you. Toodles. Shout out to my grandma. Ha <laughs> ha